telling the tale, um, it came across my desk. And I had a report on the fact that there was allegedly an outside child with Rocky. Is that true? There's no child. There's no outside child at all. Okay. okay. Until, until Tasha went to the radio station and they asked her about my situation with my baby. First, I'm going to say everything this nigga has put me through mentally mentally and then it's like you know not a threat's coming you know what i'm saying it's just like and then you go to the radio station and they ask you on v103 they asked you i don't know what other radio stations you did but somebody sent me some boy on it my thing is this you're the wrong person to speak on my situation i don't care if that's your husband you and your husband got what y'all got going on and your husband got shit going on with a whole bunch of other motherfuckers. That's your relationship with him. This is his situations with everybody else. So this baby situation is my situation. You not the, you, you just not the right person to speak on my situation. Period. You never called me. You never called me and was like, you know, uh, what's all this stuff going on with you, you know, and my husband? You never did that. So it's just how do you go to a radio station and talk on my baby, my child? See, what I don't tolerate, my kids are off limits. I don't care if that's your husband. He wasn't your husband when he was out here sleeping around. I mean, if you want to say, I mean, because it just seemed like when you answered that question, you answered it like you was just you just knew it like you just knew for sure and you just you just know everything so my thing is like since you know it seemed like you know everything do you know that i mean has he ever really been your husband since y'all been together because since y'all been together he has been with a bunch of people now my thing is this he told me he was getting out of, out of the situation with you and, you know, this, that, and the other. He was just trying to stack his coins up. You know what I'm saying? This is what he told me. So if that's y'all thing, like if y'all really not together, you know what I'm saying? Then, okay, it makes sense now. That's why he got you out here answering all these questions for him and looking crazy. The same way he had me out here looking crazy. You know, we were still linking up. After this whole viral shit went, we were still linking up. I was meeting him so he could tell me what to say and trying to get all his little kisses and all of that shit out. You know what I'm saying? He got me on the phone with people, you know, trying to get in touch with TMZ and all of this shit while I'm, we was together. And you know what I'm saying? Going on saying, say we don't know each other. I'm like, why would you say that? People have seen us out. You want to pull camera footage from places? People have seen us out. You tongue me down in the fucking uh, middle of the fucking club in Vegas, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, why would you sit up there and be like, people don't know us at all. So, I, I, you know, I went with his little story, you know, because the same way, like, you feel like you got to sit up here and defend him and be his ride or die. I get that. I get, I get it. That was me. I feel like I got just as much right to talk on this nigga as you do. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> That's your husband, whatever. He went out here respecting you. So he became my nigga, too. So I could speak on the shit that I went through with my nigga at the time we was together. So my whole thing is, you don't know the shit that I have been through for you to go and speak on my child. For you to say how you said it, there's no outside baby. Let me tell you something. You better hope that these other girls out here, they don't get that, that, that you better hope that they don't get the courage that I got to come forward with it because some of them been waiting on paternity tests.